Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video tutorial and in this lesson we're going to create this really cool political intro so stay with me until the end of this video also I want to thank you for watching this one also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so you can always get a notification whenever I post a new clip ok let's jump into After Effects without any further ado and get started Alright, we're here in After Effects and without any further ado, let's create our project. Uh, first of all, we will create this in 4K. Uh, for the start, we will create uh, three compositions. First one will be slide 01, 3840, 2160, uh, frame rates 30 frames per second, and duration, it's okay to leave it maybe at 20 seconds. Uh, also create a new composition, we will rename it Media 01 hit OK and our third composition will be mat comp. Hit OK and now it's time to create uh, our mat. Uh, you can close this slide 01 and media 01 for now. For this uh, mat uh, composition go right click and then create a new uh, solid. Also for K hit OK go here in effects and preset and if you can find this one go to window and hit here and uh, effects and preset find here fractal noise drag and drop onto our solid you can hit enter to rename it i will just type f and for fractal noise and it's time to make a few adjustments here in fractal noise for this fractal type leave it to basic noise type go to block contrast also leave it to 100 and we will animate our brightness set up our first keyframe Type here minus 110, go to around 2 seconds and type here 0. Also uh, hit U on your keyboard, choose all of our keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor. Uh, if you can see curve like so, go right click and then hit here edit speed graph and draw a line like, like so. Now when we hit 0 we have something like this, ok. Also, it's time to lower our complexity from 6 uh, to 1. Also, open up this uh, transform and for the scale, uncheck this uniform, uniform scaling. Uh, scale width go to around 830. Uh, scale height maybe to around 470. And also readjust it here in offset turbulence like so. Now this is looking really cool. And now when we hit 0, we, you can see uh, this uh, really cool uh, blocky animation. Okay, also what we can do is to hit ALT on our evolution and type here expression time asterisk 100. And now when we hit 0, as you can see we have this uh, moving block animation. Okay, our next step is to uh, pre-compose our fractal noise layer. Go right click, pre-compose. I will also rename it FN and just make sure to move all attributes here into the new composition, hit OK, and then we will duplicate this fractal noise comp, go here and then edit, duplicate, and go here in effects and preset and find here effect, find edges. Drag and drop onto our first fractal noise, uh, and for this uh, option check here invert, and for the blending mode, mode find here screen. If you can't find uh, blending modes, just hit here toggle switches and nodes. And now as you can see, we have also these beautiful lines here in our fractal noise matte composition. And when we hit zero, this is looking really cool. Okay, now it's time to uh, import our matte composition into our slide 01. Open up this uh, slide 01 and drag and drop our matte composition here in our slide 01. Also import our uh, media composition and we have forgotten to import our media here in our media 01. I have already my footage from Paxels.com. This is free footage. Of course you can uh, download it or import your own media. Just drag and drop our media here in media comp. And as you can see now we have something like this here in our slide composition. Uh, now it's time to uh, also for the track map, go here uh, Luma, just find here um, track maps also 
uh, toggle switches and modes. And now, as you, as you can see, we have this uh, really cool animation. What we can do next is to grab all of our two comps, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. And now we have something like this. Also, import this uh, map composition once again. And for the blending mode, find here overlay. And now this is looking really awesome here in our finals. Okay, our next step is to create uh, text here in our slide 01. And uh, before that, just here choose uh, title and action save for better uh, seeing our text and, and for better drawing later. And now go we'll right click here in our slide 01, find here a solid and for solid name, I will just type text background also width and height uh, 4k hit ok and now uh, just turn off the visibility of this uh, layer uh, again hit here hit q on your keyboard or go here on this uh, rectangle tool and just draw a line here on our text background layer like so uh, from this uh, first line to the second line like here and now you can turn off this uh, solid turn on this solid layer and as you can see, we have our background. Also, we will import our fill effect, drag and drop onto our text background. And you can also change here colors, uh, but I will leave this uh, red color for now. Uh, also, now it's time to uh, create our text. Hit Ctrl plus T or go here on this horizontal type tool. And for the uh, font, I'm using this Montserrat regular. Uh, font size uh, 210 and type here, I'll just type random text, political intro and make sure to align it to the center. Go here, uh, find align. If you can't find it, just go window and uh, find it here. Uh, hit this uh, political intro and align it to the center. Okay, now it's time to uh, add a little bit of tracking. Go here. Uh, open up this animate tab and then find here tracking and for the tracking move it to around maybe 20 or so you can also uh, hit here on text background then hit V just double click on this mask move it to around here according your needs or here like so according your text size and now we have this uh, political intro here in our finals and it's time to also animate uh, this uh, political intro text. Go here again on uh, our effects and preset and find here uh, random, random fade up and drag and drop here on our political intro. Just make sure that our playhead is on uh, zero seconds. Uh, drag and drop here on political intro. And now, as you can see, we have uh, our text like so. W to show uh, all of our keyframes uh, and reposition our second uh, keyframe here to around uh, three seconds. And now uh, when we hit zero, we have uh, this kind of animation. Also, what we can do is to uh, grab this text background and also political intro, then right click, go here uh, to pre-compose and uh, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and i will just type random text text plus bg like so and then hit ok and also what we can do uh, is to import uh, an, another here our matte composition and for the uh, blending mode just for the, the track mat just choose here also luma and our in our finals now we have something like this also, you can choose again this text plus background and matte, matte composition and control plus D duplicate it once again. And as you can see, we have this uh, really cool animation. Okay, our next step is to uh, create uh, our color correction. Go right click, find here uh, adjustment layer. I will just rename it fill and uh, just go here also in effects and preset type fill effect drag and drop onto our fill adjustment layer for the first color find here maybe gray color and for blending mode uh, choose here uh, we will light hit t for opacity and uh, lower it down to maybe around 30 percent also hit ctrl plus d 
uh, fill 2 uh, for the blending mode, uh, find here overlay, also hit T, uh, maybe play around with the uh, percentage, maybe to around 70 and also change the color from this um, gray color to maybe dark, dark red. And now in our slide 01, in our finals, this is uh, looking really cool and creative. Also for our last step, you can create numbers. Uh, also, we will create a new composition. Go here to create a new comp. We'll re rename it to numbers. Hit OK and then also uh, go uh, here in our numbers comp. Right click and choose here a solid layer. Also rename it to numbers. Hit OK and find here also in the facts and preset drag and drop onto our solid layer. And now, as you can see, we have these red uh, numbers with four uh, decimals and for the fill color, change it to white. And you can also animate according your needs uh, for the value, uh, choose random numbers. I will do maybe to minus uh, 320 for the uh, setup our first keyframe, go to around maybe 10 seconds or so and readjust it here according your needs. You can also play around with the size and now when we hit zero as you can see our numbers are animated also go here on our solid layer hit ctrl plus d readjust it here uh, our uh, numbers comp like so you can also play around with the scale but we will do it uh, later hit s just uh, reposition and readjust it uh, according your needs like so and now it's time to drag our numbers um, composition here in our slide 01 just uh, drag and drop below our uh, adjustment layers and now we can animate uh, the opacity of our uh, number composition go to around maybe two seconds hit t for opacity set up our first keyframe here on uh, this little stopwatch and go to around maybe half a second or so until uh, when uh, our animation begins and uh, lower our opacity to maybe 0%. And now when we hit uh, 0 on our keyboard, you can see that our numbers are following our media and our mat here in our slide 01 composition. Also, what we can do is to change blending modes if you want here from normal maybe to overlay. And now we have this, uh, those subtle numbers and this is looking really cool. Also, in every moment you can double click here and uh, reposition uh, your numbers, uh, play around until you are satisfied with the, with the result. Hit S for scaling again. And uh, in our finals now, this is looking really cool to me. Maybe this one to move it around here and when we hit zero, this is looking really cool. Also, what you can do is to duplicate this uh, numbers uh, comp once again to see our numbers uh, even better. And this is looking really, really cool to me. All right, guys, for the final step, you can import uh, light leaks effect or also lens flare, vignette or so. You can play around to get uh, results that you want. I have shown you this uh, really cool technique. Just uh, play around until you're satisfied. Uh, hope you like this video. If you like this one, please hit that uh, also uh, like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also take a look on my profile, on my channel for even more great tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.